Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today I am going to explain you about Laravel Socialite login using Google. So as in last video we have seen like how we can install Laravel Socialite package and use that package for login with Facebook. So today I am going to use the same package and show you like how you can integrate login with google if you have not watched the previous video about installation of laravel socialite you can click on i button and see the last video where we have integrated with the laravel socialite and facebook login so let's get started the very first thing which we need to see like we need to add a button here which will say login with google so for that we need to go on the code there will be a login dot blade.php file so what we will do we'll just copy the same button and give it a button google class and then login with google let's save it go to here refresh this okay so what we need to do here instead of facebook we need to give a font awesome google class so you'll see this we have login with google here so the next thing is we need to make root for google so let's go into the code as we have created a facebook controller we'll create a new controller called google controller so to make a controller we need to run a command php artisan make controller and the name of controller let's give it a google controller hit enter it will just create a google controller just like the facebook controller what we have the very first thing which we need to implement here as well is the function which will redirect login with google and it will just simply redirect the google with this driver in the controller it will just return the socialite so just import this class here you will see use laravel socialite facade this will be included in controller so what it will do it will just redirect our login with the, instead of facebook say it google as we are adding a google driver we need to add this in a service.php file as we have added for facebook so let's add the google service as well as we have added for the facebook let's go into the config services.php file create a new service as a google it will accept the same three parameter so let me copy the same thing from the above give it a copy paste it here the client id and the secret id you will need to create from google developers account for that i will give you the link in the description you can go ahead and create this client id and client secret from there and you need to add this redirect url so i'll say it google and then callback use from google developer account all right as we have set up the services go to the controller we have this let's make root for the same as we have did for facebook so let's go for the google google url let's create a group for google let's create our first get auth or you simply say login and it will redirect you google controller and the name of class is 
login with Google you can name it you need to give it in a square bracket and then you you can name it login that's it so we have already we have created this Google login we need to update this Google login in login.blade.php instead of Facebook just add a Google login let's add the callback URL for Google as we have added for Facebook so what we'll do we'll just add any and then give it a callback and inside this just add Google controller class and give the name of function callback from Google and then give it a name name would be callback callback all right so just create this function in the Google controller go to the controller create a function and inside the function what we need to do we will just give it try catch block and inside a try catch let's print the user which is coming from socialite give it a driver name it a google as we have and then user let's dd the user and see what we'll get let's print this user and see what we get from the socialite so let's click on the login with google it will redirect you to the choose the i as i already logged in with my email id it will redirect you to choose the account which you want to log in with as i have two factor authentication on so it will just ask me to verify my account and as soon as i verify it's me and then it will redirect to the application as i have just dumped the data which which uh, socialite written as you see this will return the name nickname email and the avatar with this id so what we need to do we need to store this id in a database similarly what we have done for the facebook we will do for the google as well let's create a migration which will add a google id into users table so what we'll do we'll just create php artists and make migration add google id in users table this will create a migration file let's open this file as you see it's a table users table so let's add keep it this field as a string and optional name inside a google id and it will be a nullable field in the down you just need to revert the change you have done so let's add a drop column and name of column would be google underscore id so this will be the whole migration next what we need to do we just need to add php artisan migrate and it will add the migrations so after creating migration what we need to do we need to add this google id into user model as a fillable property so that you can update when you update this google id it will be saved in a database as well so after updating this what you need to do you need to just go ahead and save the users data all right let's go into the users google controller and instead of dd what we need to do we need to do the same thing what we have done for uh, facebook login we i just copy the same thing from here and paste it here 
what it does it will just take the users let's import the user class so we are just importing this model and instead of facebook id we will add google underscore id and it will give you the get id it will give you the id of that name would be the name email and the password would i would suggest like just make it a any password you want but for now i just given it the name at the rate id it's, it will always be an unique because every user has a unique id and after that what we need to do we need to import the hash class so we are just imported hash let's import the auth and all set so all right so we have here what we need to do we need to check if the user email is already there is user is the key which we can take and then we can find where email is equals to user get email and then what we can say we can say fast if okay in this case what we need to do we need to check if not of user if there is a no user with this email we need to follow the same thing as we did or in other scenario what we need to do else we just need to update this google id and that's it in case of update what we need to do we just need to update here click on the login and here we go it's logged in with the same email id but by using google authentication and we can log out yes we can go ahead and log out it's here if you click on the login button click on the login with google it will simply take you to the dashboard that's fine it's working fine so all right we have implemented login with google we have added few checks here just to make sure like we are maintaining the unique email id for each user you can obviously tweak this conditions like whatever condition you want in your uh, application you can add the, this condition here but just to make it simple i added this condition here now in order to get the note on this the key note on this is you have to use this application by using ng rock reason behind this is google does not support any local url so you need to provide this ng rock url in order to test this locally obviously it is going to work on any of the domain you are you will host your application but on the local you need to test it via ng rock i hope this video is informative for you if you have any doubt any any problem while integrating this google login in your laravel application you can comment down below and i'll get back to you over there with the solution if you enjoyed watching this video please do like share and subscribe this channel i'll try to keep posted about laravel vuejs reactjs and all the web technologies in the coming future thank you for watching